find the locus of a point such that the line segment joining the end points 2 comma 0 and minus 2 comma 0 subtends a right angle at that point so let us draw the x-axis and the y-axis if this is your y-axis and this is your x-axis so say this is say 2 comma 0 so this is 2 on the x-axis this is your x-axis and this is your y-axis so this point and you got minus 2 here on the x-axis so these are the two points they're talking about so this is minus 2 0 and this is 2 comma 0 so this point is 2 comma 0 so let us call that as a point a and this is a this is minus 2 comma 0 which is a point b so what are they saying that locus of a point uh, has this character that it subtends a right angle at that point okay so what does it mean so let us take an arbitrary point say p somewhere here so p is in any arbitrary point or p is a point on the locus so let us start like this so let p be a point on the locus now when you say locus it is a set of points it is not one point it is a set of points with a common character now what's the common character it says that if you join a and b to this point it forms a right angle so what does it mean so let us let me draw a line so this is say bp and so this is ap now the angle that is formed is right angle that is what they are saying so uh, so you can say uh, ap is perpendicular ap is perpendicular to bp line segment ap is perpendicular to bp so let us find the gradient of so i'll write map 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 means okay let us write like this gradient of ap gradient of or gradient of slope are the same thing gradient of ap i'll write as map so gradient is rise over run so it is y minus 0 which is y over x minus 2 so this is the rise this is a rise over run so or change in y over change in x so if you take start from p y minus 0 is y and x minus 2 is 2 x minus 2 so the gradient of gradient of bp or line segment line segment BP I'm right as MBP gradient is slope which is uh, change in Y over change in X which is rise over run so for BP Y minus 0 is again Y over X minus take away 2 which is X plus 2 so if two line segments are perpendicular now let me rewrite let now AP line segment AP is perpendicular to line segment BP which implies the product of the gradient MAP or the gradient of AP times the gradient of BP would be negative 1 okay, when two lines or line or line segments are perpendicular the product of the gradients or slope is always negative 1 which implies uh, Y over X minus 2 times y over x plus 2 is equal to negative 1 so this is y squared this is negative 1 is equal to negative 1 times x minus 2 times x plus 2 so y squared is equal to negative this is nothing but x squared minus 4 so y squared is equal to minus x squared plus 4 this changes to x squared plus y squared is equal to 4 now if you know equation of a circle 
this is nothing but equation of a circle so this is a circle with center with center 0 0 and radius of 2 okay if you know the equation of a circle with center at 0 0 is x squared plus y squared is equal to r squared okay so yeah r this can be written as x squared plus y squared is equal to 2 squared so basically this has become a this is nothing but the equation of a circle so of with a diameter of 4 now, so here can you see this is nothing but the radius this is radius and this is also radius so just to show you if I can draw a circle with a now this is yeah I hope so slightly yeah so this is nothing but this of course this point P should come here so this is a circle uh, so let me try to make it better so if you extend this up and you know that uh, angle it subtends a right angle at the so I hope you understand this uh, if you know if you can use the geometry principle suppose and uh, this is the radius this is the diameter of 4 this is the diameter of 4 and this is the angle subtended at the or angle subtended in a semicircle is a right angle hopefully uh, you have understood this so this is nothing but equation of a circle centered at 0 0 and the radius of 